Coach Harbison, Metcalf County coach. Uh, welcome. If you would introduce your players, please. All right, thanks for having us. Uh, to my right is uh, Gabe Zumberly, number 33, senior, running back, strong safety. And to my left, senior, uh, number 69, Jaden Perry. He plays O-line, D-line for us. So, Coach, uh, uh, just kind of take us through how things are at Metcalf County. Uh, we're always interested in, in your numbers and how you guys are navigating uh, this pandemic and how practices are going. Yeah, practice is going really, really well so far. Uh, you know, we're, we're doing our best. You know, uh, with all the guidelines, social distance, and uh, I was actually telling some other coaches out there. We uh, luxury this year of having small numbers is we've got 30 players, three coaches. We get to do uh, three groups of 10, and we get it all practice at once. And not a lot of teams get that luxury, but we uh, we all get to practice at the same time. So we get to see each other. We don't get to talk to each other. So. We get to see our familiar faces and our teammates, but you know it's been kind of different. But I, I think the players are getting through it and wanting to play some football and hit each other. Three players in the entire program. Yes, sir. So no JV. Team. Yes, we're, well, we're going to try to play some JV. Well, we're, we're fairly young. We only have uh, six seniors, uh, so you know we'll have a few kids play uh, varsity and JV. Yeah, actually, thirty players is pretty good, right? I mean, yeah, that, years where it's been less than that. Yeah, that's four more players from last year, so. So we're, we're, we've had a few kids move away and uh, some freshmen not come out. We've had a few, you know, not want to play because of the COVID thing. But, you know, we're, we're, we're making do right now. And hopefully we'll have a few more come out um, August 24th whenever uh, the state allows mandatory practice. How many kids and or parents came to you, Coach, and just said, I, you know, the pandemic is still an issue. I can't play my boy play. We, we've had two. We, we've had two uh, that come to a few practices and, and step away, and, and also with our middle school program, they said they will reevaluate at August 24th whenever uh, mandatory practice starts. So. Gabe, you're an old pro over at Metcalf County. Uh, how's it been for you, and uh, what's it like going through this process? And uh, you know, how much are you looking forward to playing? I mean, I'm looking forward to playing. I mean, I've been waiting for my senior year for a long time now. I've been playing since elementary school. And I mean, it's it's been a big change. I mean, you know, you go from practicing January all the way up to season to getting cut out for three or four months with nothing. And then coming back and you know, you're going to be five days a week, three hours, two and a half hours, and then you got three days a week, two hours. And you know, like, I like to, you know, my linemen, they protect me and I don't get to be with them now. So, like, it kind of makes me sad because I like to go bond with them because without them, I am worthless because I can't do it all. How about you? Uh, it's been a big change for me to go from practicing all summer to now just having almost two months to prepare for a season. But it's been a big change just to have not even get to see the skills most of the time to even talk to them or even see young, some of the young players. That I don't get to see every day in a normal day. Coach, what's the what's the, the makeup for the team this year? What uh, you know, kind of take us through your your offense and your defense, and do you have holes that you need to fill? Do you have new guys that you gotta uh, train <clears throat> to do position roles? Or? Actually, we we lost four guys. Uh, we returned ten starters on offense. Uh, we returned our thousand yard passer, uh, Peyton Dial, quarterback. So he'll lead our offense. Uh, return our leading rusher. Uh, Gabe Zumbly, he rushed for 800 yards, and we returned three of our four leading receivers. So, uh, offensive line, uh, we lost uh, zero guys there. So it'll be a veteran group on the O line. They're all uh, juniors and seniors. So uh, offensively, we look to, you know, hopefully some, score some points. You know, they know the offense. We made a few tweaks. So. Uh, defensively, we returned nine starters. Uh, we lost a, a linebacker and a D lineman, so uh, we'll, we'll be, um, you know, veterans there at that position, juniors and seniors. Uh, we have a big junior class. There's uh, 14 juniors, and uh, they've uh, started now. This will be going on the third year starting. So, so hopefully we'll, we'll pay off. Uh, last year we lost five games by a total of like 26 points. You know, we were in the ball game. Uh, going down to the last minutes for, you know, five of those games. And, and, you know, that looks bad on a one and nine record. But hopefully, you know, those sophomores and juniors and now juniors, juniors and seniors, hopefully we can turn some of those things into a win. What about your schedule? Uh, games that you lost, games that you picked 
Yes, we uh, we moved. Uh, Barron County was our game one. We moved that to that uh, extra week there at November 6th. Um, so we've lost Breckenridge and Russell County. Uh, we have too many players going on fall break because we had a you know uh, off week that already planned. So we had, I think, 12 families vacation planned. So I, I'm not going to schedule games. So we're going to play eight games. So we just moved Barron from the first game to the last game. So it'll be very competitive. District's always competitive in our, our district, uh, Evanston County, uh, Monroe, Green, and uh, Clinton. You know, they all return, you know, good players. A well coached, so it'll be a very, very competitive district. For the players and coach, you can answer it too. Obviously, there's a decision to from the KHS, KHSAA on Thursday, but how important is it for you guys to play football this year? I'll go first. I mean, I think it's very important for these young kids, but I, I, I wouldn't want to be in their foot or uh, I mean, their their, their uh, body because that's that's going to be a rough decision. Because either way you go, you know, you're going. You know, hopefully nothing bad happens, but I, I feel like the kids need that. You know, I feel like they're safer in school and in, in a in controlled environment as where they might be running the streets or working a job or something with all that free time they might have. But I feel like they need to play as a young man, small community, you know, nothing better than a, a football Friday night. And uh, I think people need some no normalcy in their lives, and hopefully, you know, football can do that for them. Uh, uh, like he said, I think it's very important because you don't know what a football player is going home to. And, like, during the summer, you're there all the time. You, it's your second home, if not your first home. And maybe somebody doesn't have, like, family or, like, close people in their lives. And Metcalf County, you know, we got small numbers. So, I mean, it's a very close-knit football program, and that might be all they have. And I think that's very important in a lot of people's lives, and people don't realize that. Just to reiterate what they say, uh, I believe that people still go home to stuff that we don't even know about every day, and they can come to football and let all that go out the window and be with their brothers and just have this brotherhood that they know they have. Are you guys going back to school in person? Yes, they uh, made a decision yesterday. We'll start school uh, August 31st. Uh, you can do option one, which is in, in person, or option two, which is online. And I think um, uh, at the high school level, we're probably about like 80 to 85% in person is going to be what it is right now. So we have some that's going to stay home, but but our district decided uh, to go on. Uh, August 31st was our original first day, and we're, we're going to keep that. I, yeah, it's been tough when every day we come out and try to, you know, make them like, hey, there is a, you know, light at the end of the tunnel. You know, there is going to be gains. You know, you got to keep, keep, keep telling them that and promise them that, and hopefully, you know, they they make the right decision. But I, I was telling them earlier, if we don't have college football and high school football, I'm going to spend a lot of Saturdays in a pumpkin patch with my wife, and you know, that's not something I want to do. So, uh, <laughs> so hopefully we have some football because I, I, I'm going to be spending some Saturdays at Jackson Orchard. To Sliding my little girl down the slide, so. But you know, it, it is what it is. Hopefully, hopefully we can get back to some normalcy and uh, see what happens. Coach, thank you, thanks for coming on. We from County. Oh yeah, thank y'all for having us. Uh, back to see some football getting back to some normalcy. Yeah. Thank you.